And in Europe, stocks retreated in early trade with investors pausing to digest an economic warning from the U.S. Federal Reserve's Chairman Jerome Powell. Let's bring in Chelsea now for details. Hello, Chelsea. Good afternoon. Well, European stocks slid again this morning amid pessimism about the timeline for economic recoveries and containment of the virus. What are traders in Frankfurt saying? Well, all eyes have been, as you said, on the U.S., and we just received a few minutes ago the latest unemployment data from the United States. Uh, they, they've had another three million people file for unemployment over the last week, which is more than uh, investors had been expecting. So uh, stocks are certainly uh, deep in the red right now. The DAX is down about 3 percent. But this comes after yesterday. The, uh, the Federal Reserve Chairman, Jerome Powell, discussed what a long road uh, the world economy has ahead of it. He ha had some very pessimistic comments about how deep and how long lasting uh, this recession is going to be. And that really spooked traders. And, and sort of took some wind out of this narrative that's been circulating among trading floors over the past several weeks that uh, that economies were going to rebound quite quickly, that now that uh, we were seeing economies reopen, factories restart production, uh, that things would get back to normal quite quickly. Now investors are, are certainly having to question that narrative. Uh, and this is adding to a lot of pessimism over things we've seen. Uh, for example, uh, things like airlines really struggling, really weak uh, consumer spending data, just consumer Consumers really hesitating to to uh, open their pocketbooks right now, given all the economic uncertainty. Our new government report showed German inflation slowed in April to 0.9 percent as the collapse in oil prices offset higher prices for food. What are economies more concerned about? Sharp uh, higher prices or deflation? This has been a really big topic of discussion in the, the economics and in the finance world over the past couple of weeks. What's the bigger risk, hyperinflation, uh, like you saw during um, during the, the post-World War II era, or deflation, something like the, the Great Depression? Uh, the, the case for <coughs> sharply higher prices, you, you see this um, in this inflation data. We have seen really significant increases in food prices, for example, as a lot of workers, uh, seasonal workers, haven't been able to. Uh, get to, to get to fields to pick the to pick the the crops for the spring. Uh, a lot of uh, meat processing plants have had to shut down. So we are seeing price increases there. Uh, but we're also seeing a really big drag on inflation from um, from energy prices. So uh, the, the huge collapse we've seen in, in global oil prices since the start of the year has made um, made it much cheaper for people uh, to fill up their cars, to heat their homes, etc. Um, so there's these two different um, these two different weights really pulling inflation in two directions. But in, in, investors and economists that I speak to are, are certainly more concerned about deflation right now, and that's really worrying when you think of inflation and deflation. You may think, okay, it's it's great that we have lower prices, but what it really signals is that people don't want to spend money; that they're really uh, they're 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 really concerned about the future of uh, of the economy and that potentially their jobs. So they are really hesitant to spend right now, and spending is really the the engine of of the economy. So that's certainly a big concern. And Deutsche Telekom is sending a positive message amid the wave of negative corporate forecasts. Now, the German tel telecom company says it doesn't expect coronavirus to have much of an impact on its business. Why is that? Well, that's something, yeah, we haven't really heard much from anybody that they don't expect a, a coronavirus impact up on their earnings. Uh, but Deutsche Telekom, they reported their, their first quarter earnings today, and uh, they did see higher revenue, higher profits, and they, they confirmed their guidance for the year, and so they didn't really expect uh, a significant impact on, on their financial results for the year. And the reason for that is, um, at this point, it's, it's, uh, it's a good time to be an Internet provider. A lot of uh, people are relying increasingly on internet access. Uh, kids are, are doing school from home. A lot of people are working from home. So they saw in this quarter a, a big jump in, in the number of people uh, signing up for broadband access, the biggest increase in two years for them. They saw more people signing up for TV. They saw a higher usage of their mobile network. So they are benefiting from this wave of, of, of increasing uh, digitalization. And that's really offsetting any sort of negative impact they're seeing from store closures or, or um, things investments from companies all right thank you um chelsea enjoy the rest of the day